So in my Xiaomi ESP32 S3 getting started video, I showed a tiny little robot made by the community member and at that time I thought of making a similar S3 based cam robot and this video is about that same project of making our own ESP32 S3 robo cam car. Well it's not that tiny though but it is the smallest one that we have ever made and it's the smallest one in our studio as well which is just in the size of 100 by 90 mm. And we can control this robot wirelessly using the web browser and not only that, we can live stream video on it as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you the complete process of making your own robot from scratch using the S3 board and I'll share the code required for this project as well. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer based software company. Now LTM is not just another PCB designing software rather it's a world class and award winning PCB designing tool that has some features like advanced interactive routing with auto completion, any angle routing, bus routing, face and length tuning, follow me more and much more which makes it an ideal choice for PCB designing by a lot of companies. Along with this they do also have LTM 365 that not just covers the PCB designing part but also helps with design sharing via web, sharing designs to mechanical team for product design, centralized cloud storage and a lot more. And along with all this they do have a very useful search engine made just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart you can search for any components and you will be able to compare its price and availability around the globe. Not only that you can also get the details about the components like its specifications and data sheet all at one single place. So LTM provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. So do try out all the services right now as you'll be getting a free trial version by just clicking the link mentioned in the description. Happy making. So for making this robot, we'll need a Xiao ESP32 S3 board, two N20 micro geared motors, two wheels, one caster wheel, a L293 d motor driver IC, a battery and a TP4056 battery charging module. Then we need to connect them all according to this connection diagram. Now here I went for the Xiao ESP32 S3 because it was the smallest ESP32 cam based board in the market and not only that it got a lot of features in it. So now if you don't know about this board then I'll recommend you to watch out my getting started video for Xiao C3 board in which I covered all the details regarding this board. And then we also took a couple of general purpose PCBs as we were thinking of to use the PCBs as the base of the robot. So then we started making the robot and first of all we fixed the motors with the help of zip tie on a general purpose PCB. Then we added the IC base to attach the L293D IC and we shouldered all the connections at the back. So now the main base PCB looks something like this. So now the base PCB also has an extension PCB for attaching the Xiao S3 board something like this. Then we made an extension PCB which has a TP4056 battery charging module along with the battery which we then directly attach with the base of our robot. And then finally we added one more layer of PCB to hide all the components behind it. So after doing all those shouldering and connections the final robot looks like this. The tiny little cam robo. Okay, so here's the code used for our mini robo cam car. Okay, and I'm going through the code. Then here, first of all, we need to define which camera model we are using. So currently, I'm using the camera model as Xiao ESP32 S3. Hence, I uncommented this. In case you are using any other cam board, you can uncomment that particular line. After that, here we need to provide a study name and password, uh, not of your Wi-Fi router, but uh, for the ESP32 board. Okay, so what we are doing here is rather than providing the Wi-Fi credentials, making it connect to a router and then accessing our board using the local web server, we are directly connecting our smartphone or laptop with the Xiao C3 board and we are communicating locally. Now why we did that is just because when we uh, were allowing this board to connect with a router and then accessing through uh, the laptop or computer, we were getting a bit of latency in the live stream. But when we made the connections uh, between the Xiao S3 board and our phone and laptop directly the latency was very very less almost real time right so that's why we are going for this access point mode and you need to provide the credentials for this board you can change it according to your choice straight after that here are the pin mapping uh, which will be dependent upon which board you select okay so here we have selected the Xiao S3 board so it will be following all this pin mappings straight after that uh, going below we here we have defined a couple of pins for particular motor and LED. So here we are using two motors. So these four pins are used for running that two motor. And here this D9 pin is for the LED. So of course we can attach an LED on board 
okay, uh, which will be connected at D9 pin and we can control that LED using the web page. In my case, I haven't attached because I was not having that much bright LED in my studio. But in your case, if you have, you can attach it at the pin D9 and you can make it work using that local web page that I'll show you in the working uh, in the demo part. Okay, straight after that here, we are initializing the server and the setup. We are making it uh, like pins as output, making it low initially, then configuring the camera uh, and the web server. And here we are beginning the Wi-Fi dot soft AP. As I said, it will be creating an access point on which we'll be connecting our smartphone. Okay, that's it. That was the setup part and the loop is completely blank because all the tasks are handled by the server at the back end. And if I take you to the dot C plus plus file now here, it will be having all the HTML page and all the you know, callback functions like what to do when a particular button is pressed. Every logic is embedded here. So let me show you those logics. So first of all, if I scroll down and down and down here, I get the complete HTML page uh, which contains all the buttons to take it forward, reverse and everything. And also the small screen on which we'll be able to visualize the live stream. So this is the web page and uh, moving ahead. Here are a couple of callback functions. Okay, for example, if I press the forward button, this function will be called and it will be running the motors according to this pattern. Okay. After that, if I press the back button, it will be running the motors in this pattern. Similarly for left and right. Okay. So in case if you want to change the uh, motor patterns, you can definitely change it here. That's why I'm explaining all these important functions. Similarly for LED, these two functions are responsible. So if you turn on the LED, this will be called. And if you turn off the LED, this will be called. Okay. So again, you can change the patterns. You can change the logics in this function and it will work. Okay. So those were some of the important function, important line of code, which I thought I need to make you understand. So that you can make this code work for your project according to your uh, application. Okay, so now let me show you how to upload the code and which configuration we do select. So first of all, to upload it into Shao ESP32 S3 board, you need to select the same Shao ESP32 S3 board under the ESP32 boards packages. Now, in case it is not showing up on your computer on your Arduino ID, uh, make sure you have updated the ESP32 boards package to latest version. Now here I'm using the version 2.0.11. Okay, after that here also you need to do one more change, which is the PS. So initially it will be disabled, but you need to select this OPI PSRM to support the camera functionality and then just select the right COM port and straight away hit the upload button. So after successfully uploading the code, we inserted the Xiao S3 board into our PCB project, powered up the device and now let's see this project in action. So I took my smartphone and first we need to connect a smartphone with the access point created by the Xiao S3 board. So I provided the particular password for it. And after that, I opened the web browser and now here you need to go to the link called as 192.168.4.1. As soon as the page open up, you get all the buttons on the screen and also you'll be able to see a display on which the camera is live streaming on it with a very low latency and I can easily control the robot using the button on this web page. And due to this low latency reason only, we created the access point of this S3 board only. Not only on smartphone, but you can also make it work using the laptop. You need to connect your laptop with the same access point. And when you open the uh, same uh, link, it will stream the live video and you can control the robot as well. I loved making this project and it was really very fun to play with it. Like you get involved in it completely while interact with this robot. So that was our smallest robo cam car made using the smallest ESP32 cam board which is the Xiao ESP32 S3 board. How was this robo cam project according to you? Well, do share your thoughts down in the comments of the video. And uh, are you interested in like getting the custom made PCB for this robo car? Because I'm thinking of to make the next version of it in which I use the custom design PCBs to make it even more smaller and also add some features like a big LED flash. And do let me know your suggestion about how is this idea according to you. That being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me. Take your SMS.